Have you ever needed to group a bunch of items in an array of objects? If so, this code here probably looks pretty familiar. In fact, depending on the complexity of your array of objects, yours might be worse. Well, in 2024, a new method was added to JavaScript to make this a lot easier. Let's check it out. First of all, let's rename this constant, and let's go down here and create a new constant called grouped, and we are going to use the new object group by method, and we'll pass in our, our array of objects up here. And then all we have to do is point to the item in the object that we want to group by. So in this case, let's say it's book and we want to group it by book and the genre. And let's hit save. Notice that nothing has changed. We've done exactly the same thing as before. We've grouped it by genre. And all we have to do is pass in the object and then the key we want to group things by. Now I can also group this by title. I can group it by author or any other key in the object in the array. So clearly this is great because it just means a lot less code. In fact, I can just get rid of this completely. No problem. Now let's talk about things you should be aware of. First, this is a shallow copy. What does that mean? Well, if I go in here and I change one of these items after I've created this grouped constant, let's change the first title to Oik. Now, even though I have created the grouped constant, it does not mean that changes to objects in the referenced array won't come through. They definitely will, because as I said, this is a shallow copy. So definitely keep that in mind. However, what's really excellent about this new method is hidden in plain sight. Maybe you caught it. If we take a look at the top here, we see object null prototype. And what this means is that the new object is created with a fully clean object that does not inherit any properties from elsewhere. And this means it only contains the keys we specifically add, which avoids things like accidental key collisions or even prototype pollution. In other words, it's safer and more predictable. All that and with a compact format that is easier for everyone to read and understand. Stay tuned for more tips on JavaScript. Happy coding.